All right, for this last chart, it's a little tricky because you are charting information that is not right next to one another. Meaning, we're gonna chart our menu items and the fat and the carbs. So we're gonna, you have to select the exact same amount of data and this first part, don't hold anything else, just select it like normal, A2 through A5. Now with your non-mouse hand, press and hold on Command and then select F2 and through G5. Then you're gonna go back up to Insert and choose the 2D column chart but this time, under the 2D column chart option, choose the 3D column. All right, it should look something like this. If it doesn't, stop right here and delete it and go back. Okay, go ahead and cut it and paste it into sheet two, which we should have renamed these. So here we will do that in a minute. So go ahead and make it just a little bit bigger. There we go. So double click where it says sheet two, name that charts, double click where it says sheet one, name it data. Then click on your second chart, the chart we just made. And go up to chart design and choose that style six. You want to do this first because it adds stuff or will delete anything that you've added if it doesn't have it on that chart style. Double click where you see chart title and come up with a title that makes sense to your chart. Now this chart has a lot of um, information kind of embedded in it, but we're going to go ahead and switch so that we can easily compare the carbs and items and the sugar and items. All right. This chart already has access titles and um, stuff like that. So we're just going to go ahead and edit that chart title. And then much like the other menu, or <laughs> much like the other chart, we're gonna go ahead and change um, our color scheme of our columns. So we're gonna change the color scheme for the columns for the cheeseburger, for the fries, and for the frosty. So go ahead and click on your first column, go to your home ribbon, and click the fill color and choose like one of your logo colors like one of your restaurants logos colors do the same thing for column two and column three and you're good